Well, hello YouTube and Captain Dave Sport Fishing YouTube channel subscribers. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, I was talking to a guy on the phone earlier today who called me and I don't know, we got in a conversation, you know. I always talk to people probably too much. I'm a personable guy, so that's the reason I might talk to them on the phone. He was talking about taking his sons out or something, college kids, uh, with their girlfriends or something. And uh, I don't know how we got talking on it, but I, you know, I always try to turn everybody on to my YouTube channel that I talk to, because of course that was the original intent was for people to, I mean, YouTube's very, you know, accessible, you know, even though you're watching it on your little dinky screens most of the time while you're sitting in a doctor's office or something. I see everybody. I see what everybody's doing. So, you know, you hear half of what is said, see half of what I do. But I guess that's okay, because that's today's world we live in. Instantaneous gratification. Well, since that's the world we live in, and it's summer, and it's probably a good 95 degrees under this top, even on the Jetty Wolf, versus standing out in the sun, and at the same time, it's uh, you know, like you got somebody visiting you, something like that, and you don't want to go for an all-dayer, which an all-dayer for me is six hours, and you only want to do a four-hour trip. Well, you keep shaving down, and you give me one day to do it. One day to do your bucket list of fishing, right? Well, there's only so much I can do in a half a day. I mean, it is summer, it is hot, it is not the time to be fishing up in the river and stuff like that. I mean, you can, but the action won't be instantaneous gratification in four hours like you want it. So what do I end up doing? I like to do, as you've seen in many other videos, many, many, many other videos, I guess you'd have to actually watch the videos or see them, is I like to do what I call running and gunning behind the shrimp boats. Because that is a way that I can get somebody on something fast. And by getting them on something fast, uh, that sort of fulfills that instantaneous gratification that they gotta have, right? Because we don't have a lot of time to spare. A four hour half day. Do you realize only this year, only this spring, have I even offered a half a day. And when it comes back into fall, I probably won't be even offering four hour trips anymore. I used to do one day. And that one day consisted of six hours. If you wanted to fish less than six hours, it was your prerogative. I'm not holding you captive. I'm not holding you captive on the boat. You just tell me when you want to go in and we're going on in. And I'll probably be going back to that. No half days. Well, when you pick a really, really kind of tough day with a tough wind or a tough tide, it is what it is. I don't have, I don't see anywhere on this boat that there's some kind of crystal ball or, or magic wand. But that's not the reason I'm doing this video. I am doing this video because I am going to do what I called a wolf tail in previous videos. A wolf tail is some of my stories. It's story time with Captain Dave. And, uh, the stories that I did on other wolf tales were extraordinary things that happened. Example, 
being towed in a boat by a fish or a shark or something like that, right? I'm, I'm not giving it away because I will put the links below in the video description of the other wolf tales if you'd like to look at them. Uh, impaling a bird. That was one. A tarpon trip from hell and back. Absolute hell and back. I did a tarpon trip, yeah, years ago. Uh, let's see, what else? What else did I do? That's the ones that come to mind. I did three or four. Oh, I think the original one that nobody cared two hoots about was my lure collection. I have a lure collection dating back to lures from the 50s. And they're all in a kind of similar situation. Hard plastic, uh, mirror foil inside. Back when that was a big deal. I think that was the first one I ever did was my lure collection. That was a wolf tail. Okay, wolf tail meaning jetty wolf, and it's a wolf tail meaning it's a story. Well, this time, this is a going to be a wolf tail, and during this wolf tail, I'm going to tell you about what I've noticed this summer. I've noticed it every year, but this year it's been quite predominant. And the way the world is today, the way this country is today, you know, I'll just say this. I don't know what really is going on. I don't really know what's going on with men these days. I'll, I'll put it in a nutshell this way. I truly believe, this is just me, this is just my, you know, everybody's allowed to have their opinions, aren't they? Hmm, no, you're not allowed to have your opinion. You're not allowed to have, you got to think with the sheeples, right? Which we're in a real unbelievable time right now. Do you realize that China is now not only the you-know-what that starts with the V, you know what I mean? But now they have such unbelievable flooding. And they've got so many people over there that their government doesn't even care. Flooding the people, you know? And then, of course, people are dying, you know? And let's see. If you don't have any faith in the way the world might work, you know, there's stuff that I guess is going to be, it's outside of us. It's outside of us. There's stuff that's outside of us. And now they're talking about over there in China. Again, re-emerging of some sorts because another pandemic. Swine flu. Again. I don't know what to think of it, but you can think about it yourself. You can do your own research. Just watch some of the videos, some of the news some of the things going on. It's not gonna, you know, oh, it's not gonna affect, you know, somebody fishing in Florida. But there might actually be, you know, when the world is overpopulated, certain parts of the world are overpopulated, no doubt. And you, you change the landscape of the earth and you do things, and you, I mean, I, I mean, it, you know, you know what I'm getting at, but that's not the whole, that's not the whole story here. It's not that we ought to be worrying. We've got enough problems right here on the home front, and I cannot believe it. I cannot believe what I am seeing. There's literally, in my mind, uh, one way and the rest of it's, you know, hit the highway. All right, that's just me. I don't even know what the heck I was talking about because the phone rang, the bat phone. 
it started to glow red, so I had to answer it. Yes, I know these videos get like damn near no views because when I name them wolf tails and they're in the search results, let's say, even if YouTube shows them, uh, they don't get no nothing. So I'm just, I'm kind of pissing in the wind here. But I guess I'm doing this for my subscribership. 10,000 plus subscribers. I think it's about, I don't know, 10,125 right now or something like that. So I'm doing this for you. So let's get to the point. Yeah, tons of crap is happening. I, I believe I remember talking about stuff happening. Well, oh, that's what I was talking about. I remember now. Me personally, I see all the personalities of kids and teenagers and everything on my boat, day in, day out. Different personalities, everything. And here we're out doing a shark trip. This is the wolf tail. We're out doing a trip. I got two adult men. I got one of them's wife. Such a lovely gal. I didn't know this guy was had such a lovely wife. Um, and one of the other guy, the other guy's nephew, who I believe was 17 years old. So what did we do? We did some running and gunning behind the shrimp boats right off the get-go, man. Right off. Got out there, pulled up behind one, drop a bait, bam, we're on. And of course we get the younger person on the boat, 17. He's fighting the fish, he's fighting, he's... Many times people overwork themselves and I'll be able to tell you to prove this point. They don't fight the fish, they fight the tackle, they're fighting themselves, they're fighting their technique. You know, when a fish is in water, no matter how big it is, the fish is in fluid. So a fish's runs and battles and stuff, they're swimming. So everything is nice and fluid. There's nothing like, um, there's nothing all that major jerkiness to it. You know, as if you're hooked up to something. I don't know how to explain it, but the fish know it. Because as long as a, a fish, a shark, it doesn't matter. As long, as, especially with sharks though, as long as you're fighting on that rod, they can feel the bend of that rod do this. And the minute they get up to the boat, and I do what I call tight line them, I'll grab that leader and I'll be pulling them over to the side of the boat and they go to lunge and I pull back. They can tell that line's a lot tighter than it just was when it was on the end of that rod, right? So either way, we got the 17 year old boy, he's, he's fighting this thing. And what happens? He gives up. It's not a revelation. I'm not giving away any big time secrets here. Because his uncle was really giving him some crap. He was kind of giving him some crap about it. You know, we were all like, whoa. And he goes up to the bow of the boat and he's laying down. And it's not like he was seasick or anything. It was just too much for him. Well, who takes over? Who takes over? My customer's wife. And this is the wolf tail. She's six months pregnant. The joke was, I should have been doing a video of her. But the thing was, is I'm not going to promote the fact that I've got a six month pregnant gal, probably, what was she? I'd say maybe early thirties. I'm not going to promote a gal who's six months pregnant, fishing, reeling in sharks. Well, needless to say, here's my run and gun shark rigs. Really light rod, right? But the head, the rod, the, the reel's not that light. That's about a three-aught fin or sportsman. She takes the rod and 
People have mentioned it before. Why aren't you using fighting belts and all this? Well, I take my tennis ball and I put it on the end. And we did it for her. I, I was so excited for her that I really didn't even notice how she was reeling in the fish. But I have to probably imagine that she had the rod way over to the side because she was out to here, okay? I mean, she had a baby bump. Good enough. Not monstrous, but good enough. And she took this rod and reel, and she put probably close, if not uh, dead on, she put a 100-pound black tip to the side of the boat like it was nothing. Nothing. She was semi-experienced. I'd say semi-experienced. She wasn't the kind of gal who was over the top confident. Oh, yeah, get out of my way. I can have... She was absolutely lovely to have on the boat. And she put the shark to the boat. And the whole time, the 17-year-old boy is up on my cooler laying down. I almost want to say that is the state of this country. Because I notice it. I notice it. I see things. And every once in a while, I'll get a gal like her on the rod that floors me. Well, we finished and we were playing around and doing all kinds of stuff. And she went for round two and she did it again. Where was our 17 year old? Kind of nowhere to be found, up in the bow. And she did it again. She, If I could say this, she did it with such grace. It was absolute joy to watch, to talk to. I was. I was flabbergasted. We were like, oh my gosh, should you be doing this? Never once was yanking and jerking. She, ease up, take a few turns, hold the rod, do the, let her body be the lever, you know, let the drag run. Never try to like overwhelm these sharks. So without beating a dead horse, I get a lot of that similar stuff these days. I don't know. When I was 17, it hooked me to a right whale. I'd want it. I'd want it. And we're, I don't know. I, I, I get, I get a lot of that these days. Not, not six year, six month uh, pregnant women reeling in 100 pound shark, 100 pound black dips behind a shrimp boat. But I get a lot of younger people that can't handle the uh, little bit of stress, a little bit of heat, a little bit of physical. They can go to the, you know, they can go to the gym. They can flex everything, I guess, in front of their girlfriends. But when it comes time that it matters, like out here on the boat, I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but that's my wolf tale. I wanted to tell everybody about it. I don't have any photographs. I didn't want to promote this. It's another one of those things that floored me. So that's what's been happening. What else? Nothing else that would be wolf tale category has happened lately, but I'm sure it's going to come. Right when you think you've seen it all, hang on to your hat. You're going to see some more. So, thanks for watching. That's been a long wolf tale. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to do one again where I just sit and tell a short story. <laughs> is it a short story or medium story? I don't know. But this is Captain Dave's Sport Fishing YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on the next one.